Welcome to Grumpy Guy Gaming and this is an unboxing of Nighthound Blade Guys Revenants. This box contains 10 Citadel miniatures and it's for Age of Sigmar. So let's see what we get inside the box. I mean the model is great. Hard color is standard GW quality. You can see here the paints. Bed. Take the bottom out. You can connect the outside. Close the box, close the bay. So we get 10 sets for no bases, which is okay. We get uh, assembly guide, which is always good. Uh, zoom. It's a uh, standard GW assembly guide, so nothing spectacular. I think the only difference with these models uh, is what I can see is. Uh, how do you say the heads which ones you put oh, that's it get more 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 ah, we get the rules standard let's see then we will check them out and that's it again great set so uh, let's see with the sprues Bad, nice quality. The only thing is, I don't like these parts that are prone to breaking. So when you disassemble these models, watch out carefully. Even when you buy from online retailers, you probably like if the box gets damaged or something. There's a high possibility that some of these parts will break. Unfortunately, but you can't do anything about that. You could ask for refund, but the retailers don't care about, I mean, don't care. It's, uh, post office, are idiots. So. That's it, guys. Now I'm going to assemble these models and come back shortly. And we are back. We assembled the Blade Guys Revenants. And I said that they are two identical sprues, but they are actually not. My bad. It didn't look closely enough. Mm, nice set. Now let's see, we get 10 all completely different models. They're full of movement. Okay, nice. This one actually doesn't have much gap filling. Oh, it has here, you can see. This part. Come on, focus. It's not bad. They're more stable than the other ones. Here I made a mistake when I was assembling, that's why there's a big gap here. You can see it. I cut a little bit too much. I assembled different when it glued, I figured out it's not correct and then I had to rip it off. That's when I, because I mostly assembled these models without the assembly guide. Not smart of me, but I'm used to, I like the challenge when I have to think where what to go. Not bad, great models. Again, gap filling on like on all the night haunt models. To take some time to fill that up. But a lot of movement, like the swords. Look excellent. I was afraid of these chains. I was cutting them out, so I was very careful. So same with you guys. Be very careful with these. And cutting them out. Same with all of the night hounds. My dislike is only the what they put here, like scenery. So you have to make a specific terrain that matches it. So. A little bit so I can uh, see this one. Yeah, this one broke. I have to fix this. Then glue this one correctly. Yay! This one looks nice. Can't focus. Doesn't focus correctly on him. Then we get. 
I mean all all of them are nice sculpts, very dynamic and everything. Best things well, actually G GW makes a lot getting better and better. They've always been good but now they're step that step up their game. Especially with these night hunt armies, they're really beautiful. Sculpts. And the last one. Looking good. Well guys, this was these buggers finished. And hope you like this video. Uh, models wise it was okay, they're nice, they're great actually. The dynamic, the how to say, it? their fluid movement and everything, so they look great. Uh, assembly wise, was a little bit fiddly when you have these chains, you always think they're going to break, especially when you're cleaning them up. And that's it, it would be fun to paint them definitely. So, guys, comment below, or tell me what you think about them. Did you have experience with them? Do you collect Night Count armies? and subscribe if you're not a subscriber hit the bell button if you want to get notifications and upload a new video and thank you for watching and stay grumpy